We've seen civil rights activists run for president. We have not seen one get this far in running for president. And I want to know what part of that dream that inspired you into the streets when you were young, that inspired you to risk your life going to jail when you were young, get beat up by the cops when you were young, still inspires you now. That's a hard question to answer, Ben. But I, I think from my earliest days, I just hated to see people pushed around. I hated to see people with power taking advantage of people who did not have any power. And maybe when you grow up in a family that does not have a lot of money and you see you know, people on top doing all kinds of things to people on the bottom not being able to do so, it brought forth a reaction to me uh, that said, I'm going to fight that type of injustice in my life, and that's what I have tried to do. But when I look at the statistics that I just read to you, what's going on here in Baltimore, you know, what Kwame was just saying, you know, it is hard to imagine that in a nation which has every day more and more millionaires and billionaires, people are living, you know, grocery stores in the community, kids can't get a halfway decent education, is it your brother who can't go to college? Right, joins the military to get an education, but he can't find a decent paying job in this community? This is pretty crazy stuff. And it gets back to what Danny Glover was saying in a moment. No one has ever given people anything. They've always had to fight for what was right. And if there's anything that I'm proud about in this campaign, it's that we are trying to bring people together to stand up and tell the 1% that this country just doesn't belong to them. It belongs to the kids in Baltimore. These kids have a right to get a good education. Parents have a right to a grocery store in their community. Small business people have a right to affordable loans so they can create decent paying jobs. And what this campaign is doing is saying it's not about me, it is about all of us. And if we stand together, we don't let the trumps of the world divide us up. If we have a vision, you know, Dr. King talked about a vision, the Bible talks about a vision. People cannot go forward without a vision. We know what the vision is. You've heard it here today. We just need to stand together and fight for that vision. And if we do that, there is nothing that we cannot accomplish. Every idea that has been proposed here tonight is an idea supported by the vast majority of the American people. Now maybe it's not supported by Wall Street, and maybe it's not supported by the 1%, but the vast majority of the American people know we can do a heck of a lot better than we are currently doing for working families and low-income people and the middle class. And that's what this campaign is about.